Love Never Dies is a romantic musical composed by Andrew Lloyd Webber with lyrics by Glenn Slater and a book by Lloyd Webber, Ben Elton, Frederick Forsyth, and Slater. It is a sequel to the long-running musical The Phantom of the Opera and was loosely adapted from Forsyth's novel The Phantom of Manhattan, 1999. The plot is not based on the storyline in the original book by Gaston LaRue. Lloyd Webber stated, I don't regard this as a sequel, it's a standalone piece. 1. He later clarified, clearly, it is a sequel, but I really do not believe that you have to have seen Phantom of the Opera to understand Love Never Dies. 2. Glenn Slater subsequently explained that Lloyd Webber didn't view it as a sequel as much as a second story with these characters. 3. The musical is set in 1907, 4. Which Lloyd Webber states is 10 years roughly after the end of the original Phantom, 5. Although the events of the original actually took place in 1881. 6. In the show, Christine Daae is invited by Oscar Hammerstein I for her American debut, until an anonymous impresario contracts her to perform at Phantasma, a new attraction on Coney Island. With her husband Raoul and son Gustav in tow, she journeys to Brooklyn, unaware that it is actually the Phantom who has arranged her appearance in the popular beach resort. Citation needed. Although Lloyd Webber began working on Love Never Dies in 1990, it was not until 2007 that he began writing the music. The show opened at the Adelphi Theatre in London's West End on March 9, 2010, with previews from February 22, 2010. It was originally directed by Jack O'Brien and choreographed by Jerry Mitchell, but the show closed for four days in November 2010 for substantial rewrites, which were overseen by Lloyd Webber, and it reopened with new direction from Bill Kenwright. Set and costume designs were by Bob Crowley. 7. The original London production received mostly negative reviews, 8-9, but a subsequent Australian production featuring an entirely new design team and heavy revisions was generally better received, although the show finally closed with heavy discounting to tickets. 10. A planned Broadway production, which was to have opened simultaneously with the West End run, was cancelled. 11. The amount of negative press having deterred potential backers. 12. Andrew Lloyd Webber 13. Andrew Lloyd Webber first began plans for a sequel to his 1986 hit musical. The Phantom of the Opera, in 1990. Following a conversation with Maria Bjornsson, the designer of The Phantom of the Opera, Lloyd Webber decided that, were a sequel to come about, it would be set in New York City at the turn of the 20th century. One of his ideas was to have The Phantom live above ground in Manhattan's first penthouse, but he rejected this when he saw a TV documentary about the Coney Island fairground. Lloyd Webber began collaborating with author Frederick Forsyth on the project, but it soon fell apart as Lloyd Webber felt the ideas they were developing would be difficult to adapt for a stage musical. Forsyth went on to publish some of the ideas he had worked on with Lloyd Webber in 1999 as a novel entitled The Phantom of Manhattan. 14. Lloyd Webber returned to the project in 2006, collaborating with a number of writers and directors. However, he still did not feel the ideas he had were adaptable into a piece of musical theater. 15. Finally, in early 2007, Lloyd Webber approached Ben Elton, who had served as the librettist for Lloyd Webber's The Beautiful Game, to help shape a synopsis for a sequel, based on Lloyd Webber's initial ideas. Elton's treatment of the story focused more on the original characters of The Phantom of the Opera and omitted new characters that Lloyd Webber and Forsyth had developed. 15. Lloyd Webber was pleased with Elton's treatment and began work on the sequel. 14. In March 2007, he announced he would be moving forward with the project. 16. When Lloyd Webber approached the lyricist Glenn Slater to join the project, Slater's initial thought was that it just sounded like a terrible idea. 3. The sequel was delayed because Lloyd Webber's six-month-old kitten Otto, a rare breed Turkish fan, climbed onto Lloyd Webber's Clavinova digital piano and managed to delete the entire score. Lloyd Webber was unable to recover any of it from the instrument, but was eventually able to reconstruct the score. 17. In 2008, Lloyd Webber first announced that the sequel would likely be called Phantom, Once Upon Another Time, 18, and the first act was performed at his annual Sidmonton Festival. The Phantom was played by Ramin Karimloo and Raoul was played by Alistair Robbins. 19. However, in September 2008, during the BBC's Birthday in the Park concert celebrating his 60th birthday, Lloyd Webber announced that the title would be Love Never Dies. 20. In other workshop readings, Raoul and Christine were played by Aaron Lazar and Elena Shadow. 
21. On July 3, 2009, Lloyd Webber announced that Karim Liu, who had played the Phantom in the West End, and Sierra Bogus, who had originated the role of Christine in Phantom, the Las Vegas Spectacular, had been cast as the Phantom and Christine and that the role of Meg Giri would be played by Summer Strallen, Madame Giri by Liz Robertson, and Raoul by Joseph Milson. I'd do anything finalist Neve Perry was given the role of Fleck. Lloyd Webber originally intended for Love Never Dies to open simultaneously in London, New York, and Shanghai in the autumn of 2009. 21. By March 2009, he had decided to open the show at London's Adelphi Theatre, followed by Toronto's Royal Alexandra Theatre, before transferring to Broadway's Neil Simon Theatre in 2010, and Shanghai. The three casts would rehearse simultaneously in London for three months beginning August 2009. Opening dates were soon announced as October 26, 2009 in London, November in Toronto and February 2010 in Shanghai, with a later transfer to Melbourne, Australia. Plans were then announced for a separate Broadway production to run concurrently with the Toronto show if Toronto proved successful. In May, the debut of the London production was delayed until March 2010 due to Lloyd Webber re-orchestrating the score and re-recording the album. 22. Technical issues with special effects and an automaton version of Christine, and the casting of multiple simultaneous productions also contributed to the postponement. By October 2009, Shanghai plans had been dropped in favor of an Australian production. 23. On October 8, 2009, Lloyd Webber held a press conference at Her Majesty's Theatre, where the original Phantom has been running since 1986, confirming the casting of Bogus as Christine and Karim Liu as the Phantom. Karim Liu sang Till I Hear You Sing and the instrumental The Coney Island Waltz was performed by an orchestra for the journalists, industry insiders, and fans who had assembled for the presentation. 2425, Lloyd Webber announced that Love Never Dies would begin previews in London on February 20, 2010 and anticipated that the Broadway production would open on November 11, 2010, this was later postponed 26, and then indefinitely 27, and to date has never come to fruition. Rehearsals began in January 2010. 28. As with Phantom, Lloyd Webber's score for Love Never Dies also includes original music in the style of the show's time period to accompany character performances taking place within the show itself. Only Bathing Beauty survived the post-concept album cuts to be performed on stage. Citation needed.